Well, it's been 22 years since the so-called spring break earthquake that devastated parts of Oregon. It was a magnitude 5.7 earthquake. It hit Scotts Mills near Malala. The damage estimate was around $30 million. I remember it well. Rumbled everybody out of bed mm -hmm. about 5.30 in the morning. And uh, I just immediately, as soon as I realized it was an earthquake, just started getting ready for work and came in. There was it's an all call that day. Always the scariest when they wake you up because that's what happened to me in the 1994 yeah. Northridge earthquake in California. Mm -hmm. Well, experts say we're due for another even bigger earthquake, up to 9.0. That's why some are calling for an early warning system. Brent Weitzberg is live this morning with more on how much it's going going to cost. Hey, good morning, you guys. It was, as Ken said, 22 years ago, almost to the very minute, 534 when that Scotts Mills earthquake hit, rattled so many people throughout the state here. Now experts are saying if there is one major natural disaster that everyone should be thinking about, it's earthquake. Officials say that Washington and Oregon are both in the target bullseye for a major earthquake. Experts say that that quake could be devastating and could tie up emergency responders for days. Now Congress members up and down the West Coast are asking for $16.1 million to build and improve notification systems. The state here in Oregon explains why these early warning systems are needed. Do you have those sensors that are detecting that an earthquake has happened and then relaying that information to um, businesses, regular Oregonians, um, and letting them know that you are about to feel an earthquake happening where you are. Well, as we just mentioned, that uh, 22 years ago was that last major earthquake here in Oregon. It even caused damage to the state capitol. Back to you guys. Brent, what is the state saying about supply kits and having one of those? Well, they say having an emergency supply kit is absolutely a must for every situation. They say you should be ready to survive and go without help for at least two weeks. So we have an entire checklist from the state of Oregon on our website right now at coin.com. You can go there, spend some time and going over with your family and having that emergency plan ready.